We miss her. We miss her very much and we love her. We want her here. We want her back in our life. We want to see her. Her, her, her niece and nephew are constantly asking for her. Where's Zoe? Can I go see Zoe? So we just we need her back home. We are, we've printed hundreds of these flyers and we're putting them anywhere and everywhere that they'll let us put them. Um, we've put a lot of uh, Facebook time. Uh, we've asked every, all our friends to attach her picture and, and share it her everywhere. information and share it. It was uh, Sunday, 11.30 that she was last seen. Then I wake up in the morning for work and she's gone. The last text that I received from her was around 2.30, between 2.30 and 2.39, saying she was on her way to see me, to pick me up. And um, I said, okay. And I waited for about 30 minutes, called her phone. It rang and rang and rang and rang, and then it went to her voicemail. Um, I hung up and called it right back, and it went to voicemail directly. And since then, I want to say probably about three in the morning, we haven't had any, we hadn't been able to get through on her phone. I mean, she was outgoing if you knew her, but Zoe was also just a laid back person. She, she came to herself. Yeah, she, you know, just hung out just here at the house or. She loved being around her, her, her sister and her niece and nephew. Uh, she also loved, liked being around, you know, me occasionally. <laughs> um, but she never, she wasn't the type of person that would go out to parties or clubs or anything like that. Um, if she did go to a party, it was with a friend, and that was very it was rare. rare. And so we went out. She was always hanging out with her. They're, they were inseparable, and they are. Um, she's just not like she's real responsible, very, very responsible person. Right now, that's all we have. Yeah. We're just, just trying to just hope and pray she's going to walk through that door or call and say, hey, come get me.